Good morning, Coach Adam with Soccer Roots. Today, I want to tell a story about the bravest man I know. Uh, and I want you to use this to kind of empower you to overcome hardship. We all have daily struggles, struggles that become weekly, monthly, yearly. And we can sometimes think, how can I get over these? Or in the context of why I wanted to tell this story today was because yesterday a boy was just saying to me, he has kind of no hope. He's from a broken home. They have no finances. They were sleeping in their car. No one is reaching out to help them. So I wanted to be that person to help him and to be a positive role model in his life to show him that, you know, there is hope. And if, if you just kind of listen to stories like this, you know that it starts in the mirror and the hardships don't define you. And it can sound like waffle and it can sound like fairy tales if you just say you can do it and you post all these memes. I always try on soccer routes to post actionable things rather than just saying fluff that don't mean anything. How can we turn these words into actionable things? So this story is about my best friend. He was five years old and he caught a virus on an airplane. Um, he was patient zero in Western medicine. They called in doctors from all over the world to check out this virus. They'd never seen it. The choice was you either are going to die basically, or they managed to contain the virus within his leg. So the decision was made to amputate. And this was after him being in a coma for six months. Six months at five years old, and I was his best friend. We would go to the hospital every day and be with his family. Um, on the other side of him coming out of hospital, you can imagine a five-year-old with one leg and He's got to go to school, he's got to go through surgery, months and months turns in, by the way, he's done about 35 years now of rehabilitation and, and skin grafts and new prosthetic limbs. And this is why this man is the bravest man I've ever met. He has never complained ever, ever about the cards he was dealt in life. This moves me still to this day because we, all have things that can, um, you know, make things hard. But the fact that he was able to overcome that and, uh, you know, kind of show that mental strength. I remember one day he came into school after not being um, able to walk really. He brought his crutches in and he played football in the playground, soccer in the playground with the other kids on crutches with one leg. And uh, it just affected me so much to see <clears throat> that that level of mental strength in a child just showed me that we can do anything, you know? We can do anything. Um, so, I wanted to relay that story because my job yesterday took me to a place where I met a boy who has nothing, nothing going for him. Kind of in this context of life starting us, you know, he's from a broken family. He doesn't know his dad. His dad was abusive when he was young. Um, they've been sleeping in their car and he's overweight and he's unhealthy and I wanted to be there to help him. So this story is for you, my friend. It doesn't matter what hardships life throws at you. It's just about how you can get up and take it. Now, am I justifying that some people live in Bel Air and, and have an amazing start to life? No, that's not their fault either. It's nobody's fault. It's just, it all starts with the mirror. And my friend is the perfect example of that. How could I turn around at five years old, seven years old, whatever, when this guy's my best friend and say, oh, I have a cough today. Okay. You know, okay. Look what he's going through and he never complained once. I remember one day I went to his house and um, I could hear him through the door putting on his prosthetic limb. He didn't know that I was there. And... Um, I could hear him crying because of the pain. He had kind of like boils at the top of his leg. And I knocked on the door and said, hey man, you okay? And he said, yeah, yeah, I'll just be a second. 
open the door, whoosh, game face. I've never seen him sad. I've never seen him. And the way that he dealt with it, with other people, it wasn't that he was just containing it and not letting the sadness get out. He just had this amazing way to reframe and just go, okay, this does suck, but what can I do? Right? And let me tell you what he did. He went on now to be one of the top pediatricians in London, in medicine in London. He's changed and given his entire life, dedicated his entire life to helping kids um, because he remembered the doctors that helped him. He remembered the people that were there for him when he needed that help. So if you are listening to this, I wanted to use that story just as a way to show you that, you know, life can suck. It sucks for everybody. There's not one human being that's graced the planet that hasn't had a hard time. But can you hear stories like this and can you just get up? Can you just start with just getting up? Make your bed, get the day going, yeah? And then look in the mirror and be like, I'm gonna try to work for something, towards something. And just inch by inch, you will get there. And I want to use that story by my friend today. Um, to really get that point across. So I hope that's been a really beneficial story for you. And thank you to you guys for listening and sharing these posts. It means a lot because, you know, primarily I'm always, I see millions of people from Tony Robbins and, and mentors of my own, Rachel Hollis and people like this who um, help adults and, and who are lost. But I never really see too many people who are reaching out to kids and teenagers and and um, younger parents and, and stuff like that. So that's kind of what my passion is and my entire life skill set has been built for that purpose. Um, everything, my education, my career, my business, every hour of my day I learn about things like this. And all I do is say, this is what works for me and what I know. I never claim to be the man who knows all the answers because I don't think anybody knows all the answers. All I can do is hope that through these videos and through Soccer Roots classes in Los Angeles, we can help even one person make their life better, right? So thanks for listening and please share this story because I know this will really resonate with thousands of people who are struggling right now and just choose kindness, you guys. Thanks for listening. Coach Adam with SoccerRoots.com.